lovelies welcome back now today's video as you can tell by the title is a box clever planner review now i'm going to put up here my life update because this has been in the makings for a while so many different things have happened that we've been having to push our budget journey to one side we are now officially doing it i can't i can't wait for it so this is the planner that i went for it is the box clever obviously and i'm so excited this was off ebay it was 9.50 i think it was um free postage i ordered it on the monday and it came on the thursday so it was really quick delivery i will find the link for you guys and i will put it down in the description box and this post will also be on my instagram page again where the link will be it may be an affiliate link so that's entirely up to you guys if you take it but i'm going to stop with rhetoric on and we're going to get straight into this video okay guys here is the planner sorry about the little shadow it's just the way i'm filming first page is the personal information we've then got useful numbers i.e doctors health visitor dentists opticians vets we then got the 2019 to 2020 miniature uh, calendar now the next couple pages is the weekly routines now i'm going to do something different i've started it but i'm still going to do something um i'm thinking of doing uh like a list of all our debts and kind of like the starting balance and the interest rates and then every month uh write down kind of the um how much i've paid off and everything so these the next weekly routine like say is a couple now this is the actual calendar it's based on a weekly basis we've got the whole calendar you can fold you've got the small miniature calendar up the top this column here is the weekly meal ideas for the day and then it's things to do and things to do for next week now obviously we've we now just start in our debt journey so it's not filled in as you can tell there's quite a few pages um i've started doing it for july but that will come up pretty soon where you can see exactly what i've written like i said guys i will be doing uh the july monthly uh budget because like i said we are actually starting our budget now in july so we've got a note page at the end of all the calendars and then we come into the monthly planning page so it's got a to-do list again just ignore the date and the time but i'm just showing you what's actually there now we've actually got the come to the budget okay so obviously we've got the mortgage rent electric some of these ain't going to be included so i'm actually going to tip x the ones out like the heating oil that we don't need so i'm going to tip x that out and then add something else into it but here's the budget sheet and then you've got quite a bit of a gap so that you can add more information to it and then you've got the income and outgoings so this is kind of it's not one of the um it hasn't got many things in this budget planner but because I, this is obviously my first time doing this budget this is quite a simple planner so this is why i thought i would actually start with this one so i can just get budgeting in general down to a t but I will be kind of writing on the top my income next going and the total kind of income and then we'll do it that way. Towards the back, again, we've got the big version of the calendar for, for each month. I 
and then we've come to Christmas and holidays so it says Christmas plans both the jobs me and Nick do it probably does require us to work Christmas so we're not 100% sure yet what we're actually working this year but I will write it in here when I do again we've got the Christmas budget so I've kind of budgeted down for children for Nick Christmas cards list um, and then we've got Christmas presents Christmas shopping list um, and then I got the summer holiday planner which I didn't actually notice that guys and I got thoughts and plans for 2020 and thoughts and plans for 2021 and then you've just got a lovely little notes page now the next part is the shopping list so I started right now shopping list ready for July and we've got quite a few pages of shopping list as you guys can see and then towards the back we've got a few pages that are notes and again the 2021 plan uh, mini version of the calendar in 2022 I'm sorry if you can hear cars going past I've got the window open because it's quite close now in the back of the book we've got the address and contacts little book So you could put all your name, addresses and their details in and it comes with these little um, stickers which I thought was really nice and they're quite handy. Um, if you guys use stickers for your planners then just leave it in the comments about where you'd actually get them from different kind of like payday stickers and just different things to make the stickers look absolutely amazing in the planner so that is literally my review well the little out this is what the box clever calendar this is what the Box Clever Planner to look like and we're going to get into my review in a minute.